and welcome to this FPL Game Week 28 team selection video with me, Holly Shand. We've got a double game week. I've got two free transfers. There's lots to discuss. Help me get this one to 500 likes and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Starting off with how my Game Week 27 went then and... You know, felt like a difficult game week to be fair. 67 points has given me a consecutive red arrow, which is never a good thing. Um, in terms of what moves I made, I was hoping to roll the transfer. The Richarlison injury meant that I considered selling him for Douglas Louise or Kulisevsky. I decided in the end just to keep Richarlison and play Barkley because ultimately... If I'm to replace Richarlison, I wanted a player that I'd want longer term, um, a Son, a Madison, a Bowen, something like that. So I thought, roll the transfer, have two frees going into 28. It'll give me a bit more flexibility. Couple of returns in the defence, a clean sheet from Gabrielle and an assist for Doughty, but I benched Regulon, who also got an assist. I ended up benching Paul Torres um, because there was rumours that he wasn't going to start, even though he was back fit. So I had to play Branthwaite, and then I didn't want to double up on Luton defenders defence, so I played Flecken over Kaminsky, but that didn't really matter. But the blanks from Barkley, De Bruyne and Tony in my attack really punished me. Foden delivered though with a 15-pointer, Saka 7-pointer, in the first half, apparently went off with illness in that game, although I do struggle to uh, trust Arteta's comments at times. And then Watkins delivered another haul and Captain Harland just about did enough to get a goal in the end after some uh, poor misses from his high standards. But yeah, there was a lot of managers that did a lot better. Certainly points from Ariola um, will have helped give some teams a boost and other returns in, in attacks elsewhere. So playing catch up a bit at the moment, not sure whether I'm on the right strategy, but we're too far in. Before we get into my transfer plans then, just a look at the midweek fixtures. Not done this for a few weeks, but... Uh, consistent European action is now coming our way in midweek. Starting off this week, Man City have got the second leg of their Champions League tie against FC Copenhagen on Tuesday night. I'm recording this video Tuesday morning. And then on Thursday, we've got the uh, return of the full knockouts in the Champions League. Uh, all of our uh, Premier League teams are away from home, which doesn't help really a late Thursday night, especially those teams um, that are then in action over the weekend. It's, it doesn't leave a lot of room for, for training. We do have um, a lot of fixtures moving into the uh, midweek because of this, which, which is fair. But uh, yeah, tough fixtures as well. Brighton play Roma. Um We've got West Ham going to FC Freiburg, Liverpool face Sparta Prague and Aston Villa away to Ajax. What a fixture that is in the Europa Conference League. So my recommendation is that unless you've got exact funds, certainly hold on to your transfers until at least Friday, hopefully after the manager's press conferences on Friday afternoon. That's the best time to make moves because all sorts of things could change between now and this Game Week 28 deadline. Looking at my transfer plans then, I've got two free transfers, only 0.1 million in the bank. And I've currently got three Luton players for their double game week, but I don't at the moment have any Bournemouth players. Now, a few weeks ago when I was playing my wild card and, and thinking of planning going into this week, I had a, a rough plan uh, to sell De Bruyne for Son, and to sell Haaland for Solanke to get myself four doublers and potentially even triple captain Solanke. But right now, I look at Haaland and I'm finding it really difficult to justify selling him. I know he's got Liverpool this week, then he blanks, then he's got Arsenal after the break. But since his return from injury, he's got four goals and two assists in six starts. Just one blank in that time. And he's also gone up in price quite significantly. He's up from 14 million to 14.5 million. So I would lose quite a bit of value in selling him and then buying him back. And I feel like the strategy that I've been on doesn't feel like the right strategy at the moment. And essentially to sell Haaland now and bring him back in in either 30 or 31, it's effectively going to cost me eight points. And I look at Solanke now and I do think, does Solanke outscore Haaland by eight points in his double game week? Obviously, he's got the fixtures, Sheffield United at home and Luton at home. 
but he's blanked in consecutive games and he's carrying this discomfort, let's call it, in his knee. He's had a scan. There's, there's no real issues found, but there is discomfort in his knee. He didn't make to play the full 90 against Burnley. I know Bournemouth don't have a fixture in 29, so the demands on the schedule aren't as high, but will he play 180 minutes over the course of those two games? Is he going to be fit enough? And is he in form? There's just too many question marks for me to really justify that move at the moment. Now, things can change, um, but at the moment, I'm thinking Haaland away at Liverpool isn't that bad a fixture. You look at Liverpool's defensive injuries right now. Uh, obviously, no Allison in that game is certainly going to hurt them. No Trent either. Um, I think I can probably get away with um, going with this and, and not having Solanke. Then you look at Richarlison. Now, Richarlison, in one interview, Postacoglu said he'd be out for two to three weeks. In another interview, he said he'd be out for three to four weeks. Richarlison told Brazilian media that he could be back for the Villa game. So it's certainly a confused situation. Now, the international break's coming up and it's clear that... Um, Richarlison will be motivated to play for Brazil in that international break. So he could be talking up his return to play in order to get selected for the Brazilian national team because three to four weeks, you would think, would put that in jeopardy. But given that he's still got a chance of being available for the double game week, I think he's probably going to get a little bit of a reprieve in my squad. I, I was going to have a benching headache anyway if Richarlison was fit. So I can just bench Richarlison and play my eighth attacker, Barkley, who obviously has a double himself. So i still got a transfer that I need to make because I've got the two frees. I really want to roll a free transfer into game week 30. And I do need to think long term with my moves because I've played my wild card. Uh, I want to get through 29 without using a free hit. Eight to nine players feels fine to me if I've covered the key bases. De Bruyne is the attacker at the moment that's not delivering in my squad. Um even though he's doing great in the Champions League and the FA Cup, he's started just one of the last three Premier League games, um, three blanks in the last three game weeks as well. Given Foden's form, I'm really struggling to justify holding De Bruyne at the moment. Um, I've tripled up, obviously, on City players at the moment with Haaland, Foden and De Bruyne. Triple up feels a little bit too much at the moment, given Foden's form. De Bruyne's weirdly the wink with weak link. So I'm looking to sell De Bruyne now. And the player that I'm looking to bring in is Hong Min Son, who obviously has done okay since returning from the Asia Cup. He's got a goal and an assist in the last three game weeks. With Richarlison out, it's allowing him to move central. He's on penalties. And you look over the next five game weeks, Son has got great fixtures. He's obviously got Villa away this week, which is a trickier one. But given that Villa have got the demands of Europa Conference League fixture, Spurs with the midweek off, I don't think that's a bad thing. And then they play Fulham away, Luton at home, West Ham away and Forest at home. That takes us up to game week 33. The fixtures do turn at that point. But we also need to remember that Spurs have a fixture in game week 29 and will have a double game week later in the season. That postponement from the game against Chelsea, which was a clash with the League Cup final. So being sensible, the move will be De Bruyne to Son. Whether I get to uh, Saturday and get the FOMO over not owning Solanke, I'm certainly not considering the triple captainship on him anymore. That That's out the window. But I could still do Haaland to Solanke. Let's see how I feel come Saturday. But at the moment, it doesn't feel like it stacks up in my mind. Team selection time then. And a few dilemmas this week, given the depth in my squad having bench boost not that long ago. Um, Kaminsky in goal has to play over Flecken. He's got the better fixtures. He's got the double game week. And Doughty is, of course, going to play in my defence, as is Gabrielle at home to Brentford. A good fixture for him. Then I'm looking at Branthwaite, Prow Torres and Regulon. Now, I feel like... If all were fully fit, Pau would be the one that would get the start at home to Spurs. But given that he didn't play the last game um, due to coming back from injury, let's see if he if he gets minutes in the Europa Conference League on Thursday. But I am tempted to play Branthwaite instead away at Manchester United. He's got a goal uh, not that long ago, so that could be something that pays off. But I think if Pau does get minutes midweek, then I would be encouraged to put him back in. 
Barclay's going to start in the midfield with the double game week fixture. With Richarlison on the bench, I'm happy to do that even if he was declared fit because I can't see him playing significant minutes. And Son comes into the midfield for Villa away alongside Foden and Saka, who are both in fantastic form. And they're the players that I think I'm likely to hold on my bench going into the um, double the blank game week 29. I know they don't have a fixture in that one, but it's difficult to sell players in form, especially when you've got um, value tied up in those players as well. And then that means up front, we've got Haaland, Tony and Watkins. Obviously, Haaland is my only viable route to Solanke, really, given that um, Tony and Watkins both have a fixture in the blank game week 29. I guess I could potentially go... Tony to Solanke if I really wanted I guess it depends on Richarlison because he could be a key additional number uh, for blank game week 29 as could Paul Torres question marks over those at the minute that's preventing me from making those luxury moves now when it comes to captaincy generally you're kind of drawn to the double game week players um, but I don't own Solanke and you know I look at the options that I've got from Luton Um, Barkley has obviously blanked in four consecutive game weeks. Uh, Kaminsky hasn't kept a clean sheet in that time. And it's just been seven points from Doughty in these last four game weeks. So not the most attractive bunch. So I am tempted to go with a single game week option. And the ones in the frame are Haaland away at Liverpool, Saka at home to Brentford. Now, Seeing Saka subbed at half time with illness, according to Arteta, in game week 27 isn't very encouraging. Um, Haaland, I feel like, can back in any game, even if it is away from home. He scored in a reverse fixture against Liverpool with no Alisson. I think it's probably worth the risk, especially because Liverpool have got quite a demanding schedule anyway because they've obviously got that Europa League game on Thursday evening obviously a lot depends on what happens in Champions League midweek what form we see from Haaland whether he gets a rest at all but that's what I'm leaning to at the moment Captain Haaland Vice Captain Saka Um, but yeah the events of the week could change things I'll be locking in my final team for FPL Game Week 28 on my press conference stream on Friday. So hit that notify button so that you don't miss it. Let's get this one to 500 likes. Subscribe to the channel as well and drop any dilemmas below ahead of this Game Week 28 deadline. Thank you for watching.